Hi everyone, welcome back to my video in YouTube. This is Angga Rizky from Indonesia and welcome back to my studio, little studio here. Alright, so basically this is my, my workspace. And today's video, we're gonna talk about the new trendy of user interface design and one of them, we're gonna talk about the bokeh or blurry. So basically, bokeh is like the, uh, the, the view that focus on the main object and the background of everything that behind of that main object should be blurry but right now i'm using the iphone 7 that which is i'm not able to do that but if you are using the slr or uh, mirrorless i think you can do that all right so let's going back to the user interface design so currently if i see the new uh the new ios of the iphone if you use the 3D touch, the background behind of the main object should be bokeh or blurry, alright? Or if we are logging with the uh, Macbook, sorry, in the Macbook, you're logging in the user, so the background behind is blurry only for the focus on the users, right? So that's the question that, is this new trendy of design? Because if I see the Microsoft front design, uh, they are using like the bokeh in the background as well. So, uh, are you using Spotify or you are are you using like the another music app? So basically, in the music app, uh, if you are playing the music, the background should be with the cover of that music, but uh, should be blurry like the bokeh. So, right now, we are uh, we're gonna practice how do we make the bokeh. In the Adobe XD, the reason I use Adobe XD because I'm using Mac OS and you are using Windows or Mac OS, and I think Adobe XD is able to do in the Windows and the Mac OS. So we choose Adobe XD. Why we don't choose Figma? I think uh, if you are connection, if your connection is not really good, then I don't choose Figma. So Adobe XD is for the desktop best, which is we can use without internet connection, all right? So we're gonna practice how do we make bokeh in the user interface design right now. So, okay everyone, so in this case, we're going to design the simple design for the user interface design with the travel. So we are going to use the bokeh for the background and bokeh in the button, all right? So you have to prepare your own assets. I prefer the icon from flaticon.com and one image from the unplace and then using the Adobe XD from the adobe.com. All right, so prepare all of them and follow this video. Let's get started. All right, everyone, so we're gonna practice about the bokeh. I prepare one icon from flat icon, and this is actually I, I took from my personal picture from Langkawi Island from my iPhone 7. All right, so let's get started with the iPhone 6, 7, or 8 that Adobe XD has provided for us. Okay, so first of all that, we're gonna practice with the sample number one. This is sample for the button. Button bokeh. Okay. And we want to make the rectangle as a background. Like this. Okay. And then, you can uh, go to the desktop to copy the picture as the background over here. Oops. So I'm gonna rotate, okay, and make it smaller. Okay, like this, and I think that uh, if you are open the rectangle, uh, you have to select all of those layer, and then you have to masking with shape. So in the mask group, we copy the rectangle and put over top of the mask group, and then uh, you can make become black but use the opacity probably uh, 30 okay and then we 
put the text over here just like this with the color is a uh, white color and then you setting here to become 4 and put at the top like this okay and after that you're gonna duplicate this text uh, travel sorry uh, all right so we have this to become bold and we want to make bigger and bigger oh, I think it should be smaller okay okay and with the regular phone no medium okay and then setting the line height And then you can go back to the star to copy the star over here. Uh, probably twenty two. And duplicate. Yeah. And you can duplicate this text and make it smaller. Five to five. And change it to become like with the font size about 16. Okay, so you're gonna uh, select all of them, and then I have to put over here. And I think this those stars to become smaller, yeah. And, and then we move like this yeah. all right cool and I think for the good typo grab I will move I will change this to become like and this one to become okay. yeah and then make it bigger 36 this is make it like this so sometimes we just need to apply uh, the good type of grab okay and then we need the button over here so you can use the rectangle yeah just like this and setting the radius to become 100 and then remove the border and once you click this one the button should be blurry like this but you can also setting the blur level of it Let's go with 20 and you can set in this the uh, the brickness just make it egg and this is 20 okay all right so as you can see here there's the bokeh in the button itself so you can also setting the uh, the brickness sorry the level of the background so over here I will put a uh, book now okay okay with the uh, 18 all right nice so this is for the button uh, button book okay it middle and middle okay I think I will 
copy something over here no credit card oops no credit card required yeah just make it smaller and the opacity Okay, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So this is how you make the bokeh in the button. So let's try to the another example that uh, bokeh on the background. So we're gonna duplicate this artboard, and after that you have to change the background bokeh. All right. And then you select, uh, sorry, you're going to mask group and then you choose ungroup mask. Okay, so then after that, you select the rectangle one and background blur. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this different type of the bokeh that you can try uh, for the design trendy, but over here, that I will add. Uh, picture okay so I'm going to add the new rectangle like this and put on the middle setting the radius and remove the border so over here uh, I will put the picture the origin picture yeah Okay. All right. Cool. So as you can see, there's a different type bokeh in the background or bokeh in the button. So in the button over here, you can remove the background and change it to become one A B C nine C. Yeah. So which one do you like? All right. So this is the example. Okay everyone, so thank you very much for watching and I hope it was useful for you. So are you gonna uh, learn about this bokeh or you just want to try a new style in the user interface design? But I think I really like and I am starting to fall in love with this bokeh style in the user interface design. So whatever it is, just make sure that your design is working properly, alright? Because it's not beautiful it is, but how the design works and solve your our one problems all right that's all so that's all from me angga rizky from indonesia and nice to meet you and then don't forget to like comment and share with your friends well see you in the next video bye